Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us in the beautiful morning. We are starting our show here at uh, Pryland Eco Training Safari Life. It's such an amazing morning. Overcast right here from myself, Rexin, and BK behind the camera. We are looking for a great, uh, great morning. We we'll started the Impala Plains with the zebra, impala, and giraffe, which are really in this vicinity where we are. We see giraffe now starting to move uh, more to the west, where in most cases we realize zebra will follow behind. This combination is very healthy. In most cases, it extends at night. We see now the west impala here, they start to move because it's a light, they can see very well. It's more important, I mean, number of zebra that uh, can get together, impala, and also the giraffe. If you look at the strap of the zebra, reading more about them is to confuse the predators. It's, it's really unbelievable because if you look at this color, if they start to move in, in numbers, it really confuses quite a lot in any big predators that might be in the area. That's the reason most of the time these species, they really like to uh, have this combination and work together. And sometimes, yes, of course, they use eyesight. They benefit from one another with the eyesight that are developed to each and every uh, species that might be having that combination. You look at the zebra, you look at the, the giraffe, you look at the impala, all of them, they, they really have very good um, uh, kind of uh, eyesight that, I mean, I, I mean, eyesight or sense of hearing or it will have sense of a smell. Every time these boys are the pushing teeth, wherever they're going, wherever we have seen them, they're all seven together. They knock trees. Since yesterday, they've been around in the area. The same boys, they knock trees, they all fit together. They don't really um, separate. These are bachelor boys, which they're coming uh, right here. They know why they're in the area. They're in the business of uh, really pushing Amarula and crop on trees. Yesterday we have seen him on the Amarulas and while we are there we have seen one of the guy push Knopfon tree very close to Marshall Road. So everything that they eat because the leaves is higher, they just keep on pushing all these trees down. Some of the trees yes, they are going to survive, some of the trees they have no chances of surviving, especially if root, uh, if a tree has been uprooted or the root has been exposed, they cannot be touched on the ground you know that particular tree is not going to uh, make it. So we've gotten some hyenas earlier than we expected. We're not at the den, we're still close to the dam, and the hyenas have, well, there's a few around. Here's one, I can hear others whooping in the distance. And your fur is looking lovely. Go on, they're calling you. See how the nose is to the ground? Hyenas have a great sense of smell. And they have a very large nose. And that large nose allows for a few things. One, an astonishing sense of smell, honestly. And on top of that, big nostrils mean that you can really extend yourself. You can run not necessarily fast, but far. Endurance. I've discovered a new species of lion known as the teleporting lion. There are a couple of little trackies coming out here and there and then there's just these huge, huge patches in between. <laughs> They disappear. They disappeared for ages. Now they're randomly back here again, going this way. Oh, it's been an adventure. Teleporting lions. Oh, they've been lying in the road here. There's a little bit of a... Hello, lion. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I'm going to stop there. And I was about to get out and show you the tracks. I'm really happy that I didn't. I was going to reposition and draw out the tracks for you and show you the different individuals. There's lions. Yay! <laughs> 
You see, this is a really good moment when things work out and the teleporting lines have teleported to a spot where you can see their tracks again. <laughs> okay, that actually, that is a just cause for celebration. That's an extra cup of coffee earned. Uh, yeah, Gwen, you're so right. Gwen is the lovely voice in my ear today. I almost had an Omar word moment. It was close. There's a lot of interesting dynamics happening at the moment with the lines of Juma and the lines of the Northern Sabi Sand Nature Reserve. And the fact that they've been moving quite a lot, they've been spending quite a consistent amount of time here, they've been moving quite far east. It's really nice to see. How beautiful is this boy? That noise or movement that woke the two young males up earlier has kept him kind of upright as he's dozing off. So we've changed positions so that we can see his face in the sun. <laughs> it looks like he's struggling to stay awake. He's got some pretty distinctive scars on his nose. I've been having a look at some of the more fine-tuned details on the different lines. And he's got kind of two stripes. You can see where he's been smacked there, just above his nose. And you'll probably find that was the lack of table banners that lions love to display. It looks like he was holding on to some form of carcass somewhere. Oh, look at those scars. And somebody smacked him. Mmm, look at those eyes, even better. <laughs> Rashan, I can hear it playing out in song form. The Juma jungle with the lion snoring today. It's great. Great, great, great. Yeah, she's definitely snoring. She's giving us our own little serenade. I think between her heart and now we could make a pretty good chorus. Excuse me. <laughs> Between our stomachs grumbling and us napping with her napping. <laughs> it could be interesting. <laughs> Never a dull moment, right? <laughs> oh, I love the sound though. It's so good. Kat, you're most welcome. I'm happy that you've enjoyed. Oh, Pat. Thank you, G. I'm so happy that you have enjoyed this morning's safari. And I'm excited to see you this afternoon. Hopefully this afternoon I hear your name right the first time around. I apologize. But what an epic morning it has been. All of the tracking adventures, the hyena action, and of course finding the lions. It has been quite a fun one.